Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome, but where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, I'm baking my very first cheesecake. We make sugar cookies, and I provide a ton of dishwashing motivation. So if you're interested, I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. doing today i hope you all had a very merry christmas and that you're looking forward to a happy new year we finally made it down to north carolina to visit family we're staying in our camper at my sister's house while we're down here visiting we're combining thanksgiving christmas and new year all in one visit we plan on deep frying some turkeys this weekend and i can't wait everybody loves tim's deep fried turkey but in the meantime i have a couple of videos from christmas eve and christmas day that i wanted to share with you all in today's video, it's Christmas Eve, and I'm baking a cheesecake for Christmas dessert. And I bake a batch of sugar cookies, which we'll be decorating in the next video. And in between all the baking, I'll be hand washing a ton of dishes. So if you're ready, let's just get into the video. I've done so much baking this holiday season that I've run out of flour that I keep in the pantry. So I had to pull out the flour that I keep in long-term storage buckets to restock the pantry flour. Once I fill up the flour container, then I'll be ready to mix up a batch of sugar cookies. We'll be cutting out and baking the cookies today on Christmas Eve, but we ended up waiting till Christmas Day to decorate them. So that will be in the next video. I'm using a recipe that I found on foodnetwork.com, which I'll link down below in the description box. So for the sugar cookies, I sifted the flour, baking powder, and salt in one bowl. And in a larger bowl, I added the butter and sugar and blended it together with an electric hand mixer. I then added one egg and a tablespoon of milk to the dough, which I beat with the mixer until combined. After adding the flour to my mixture, the dough was still really dry, so I had to add a little bit more milk and I continued to mix until the dough started to form a ball. I then divided the dough in half, wrapped it in plastic wrap, and place it in the fridge to chill for a few hours until we were ready to cut the dough and bake the cookies.
I've got the sugar cookie dough all mixed up so in the fridge it goes to chill. In the meantime, I'm going to wash some dishes and get the kitchen cleaned up so I can get ready to bake a cheesecake. Okay, so now I'm going to try baking a cheesecake for the very first time. I found a super simple recipe on MyFoodAndFamily.com. It calls for a pre-made graham cracker crust, which makes it super easy. You just beat together the cream cheese, sugar, and vanilla until blended, and then you add one egg at a time until well blended. Then you pour it into the crust and bake for 40 minutes. The hardest part of this recipe was waiting to eat it. Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree So let us have a swinging Christmas Just like one, two, three the cheesecake looks done so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of the oven and allow it to cool down for about an hour and then I'll place it in the fridge until we're ready to eat it on Christmas Day so happy y'all. Tim was able to get the pellet stove hooked up on Christmas Eve so we were able to have a warm and cozy trailer to sleep in without having to run the furnace all night. Even Willow was happy with the new pellet stove. She's found her new favorite spot. Now for the fun part. Rolling
pulling out the dough and cutting out the Christmas shapes. Oh, and hanging out with Tim, too. There's something so satisfying about rolling out and cutting sugar cookies. Well, Tim and I are just going to work on cutting out all these cookies, and then we're going to bake them for about 7 to 9 minutes in a 375 degree oven. <music> Something's tugging at my sleeve I do believe it's Christmas It's cold outside but I'm warm within Cause Christmas time is here A merry game they play Chasing each other to and fro Laughing all the way Oh, what a jolly time To have the whole family here For a few days of love has gone It actually was on a Christmas day You came my way that was upon a long ago The Bethlehem star must have shown the way that led you to me Now from out so good. We actually snuck a couple of cookies fresh out of the oven and they were delicious. But it's actually really late here at night. I believe it was around midnight when we finished baking the cookies. So we decided to wait until the next day to decorate them. But I'm going to share a sneak peek here. If you want to see us decorate the cookies, be sure to keep an eye out for my next video. video. I'm going to go clean up a little bit and call it a night. Tomorrow is Christmas Day and I've got a big day planned. We're going to get up in the morning and open presents with the boys and Max and Willow. Then we're going to decorate our Christmas sugar cookies and I have a delicious ham dinner to prepare. 
So I hope you'll come back and join me in my next video. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. I really am thankful for each and every one of you. Alright y'all, I'll talk to you later. Bye!